So Jill Biden's speech in San Antonio, Texas faced valid criticism even before she stepped on the stage yesterday. For one, she was appearing at a Latinx event, a word most Latinos despise. She was expected to ignore the tragedy only weeks ago there, where more than 50 migrants died in a semi-truck due to heat after crossing illegally, and also ignore the fact that, well, our southern border is being invaded. And then the First Lady opened her mouth. As distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. <laughs> Not too funny, the comparison was met quickly with disgust. A statement by the National Association of Hispanic Journalists puts it simply, we are not tacos, adding Biden's words demonstrate a lack of cultural knowledge and sensitivity, calling the remark culturally inappropriate. And as a Mexican-American myself, I can tell you it is. And you may have also heard before that taco comment there, the first lady mispronouncing bodega, probably because she's rarely stepped into one. And it is painful when they pander. And sadly, it's not the first time. Joe Biden, you may remember, speaking to California, California farmers last year, si se puede. Day she attempted unsuccessfully. And then we had to pull up this one from the vault. On the campaign trail, her husband Joe Biden and his attempt at connecting with Latinos produced another cringeworthy clip. I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. <laughs> All right. There you go. Dance a little bit, Joe. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the Democrats are losing Latino voters. And when you see the New York Times headline talking about the rise of the far right Latina, a subtle slur, of course, to the win of South Texas Republican Congresswoman Myra Flores, who flipped the seat there. Clearly, they are aware, but they're not able to stop the flubs like yesterday because the simple translation is this White House and the left are completely disconnected with Hispanics in our country. Their policies reflect it, and no speechwriter can copy edit their way out of that fact.